Hey y'all, just wanna come on here and give a update on what I've been doing to try to ease the pain in my lower back and my knee, to be honest, because they're both pretty terrible. Um, so I've done PRP, I've done three shots in my left knee. I did two in my right knee, PRP, platelet rich plasma. Uh, my left knee really didn't improve, my right did, but my right has never had surgery on it. I think that's actually what's happening uh, because my back as well, I haven't had any luck with my PRP in my, my, my back, but I haven't, I haven't had anything directly injected into my discs. So that's been my experience with that. I mean, you know, it's helped my writing. My writing has never been, you know, cut open, but it's got a ton of arthritis as well. I think it's helped. Uh, my left knee has actually gotten better just over time, um, but my back is the biggest problem. It still is every day when I sleep. If I do anything, if I pick up my kids too much and bend over too much, it hurts all the time. So I would love to hear if anybody has any anything that they're they're doing or have tried that's alternative. You know, if any sort of like gel implant that they put in their discs. So I had an L5S1 fusion. Uh, didn't didn't help me at all. I was 30, 37, I think when I did it. So coming up on four years, a little over four years, or I was 36, something like that, and never had any improvement. I did remove some of the hardware and that I thought had helped, but really didn't. Uh, so just dealing with and coping with the chronic pain every day and, and trying not to, you know, set it off and make it worse by, you know, whatever you're doing with your life, but you got to live your life. You know, when you got two kids, two year old and a two month old, I'm... <laughs> You just have to live with pain. I mean, you, you got to pick them up. You got to run around with them and, you know, so, but I would love to hear what anybody's trying or has tried. Uh, I'm still in the process of getting uh, stem cells coordinated in Mexico, Guadalajara, or maybe Tijuana. Doing just my two discs, my L4 and my L5 is going to be about $5,000 bill. But compared to the U.S. where it'd be triple that, I'm willing to try it. I'm just not gonna do a fusion. I'm not gonna let a, you know, idiot surgeon cut me open and tell me I'm gonna be fine when they're lying through their scumbag teeth. Just, you know, because they're, you know, they're controlled by the insurance companies and they're controlled by the hospitals. They're controlled by big pharma. You think I'm gonna listen to these people anymore after a failed knee replacement, a failed back fusion? Hell no. And that's why I'm on here because there are a lot of people like me just putting up with pain every day that need somebody to tell them it's gonna be all right. Just, you're going through this so you can help somebody else go through it. That's the only reason we go through crap. Whatever your situation is, whatever you're going through, it's so you can help somebody else. And that really is my only outlet here is because I'm living in this pain in this body. Nobody else feels the pain, but maybe somebody that understands back pain, especially after a filled fusion, a disectomy, uh, you know, an A-lift with a P-lift and, and just gone through the ringer with a failed knee replacement as well that had two infections in it, a blood clot. I mean, I mean, it couldn't got much worse at my age. I mean, I'm 41 years old, what, what the hell? I mean, I feel like I'm 80. You know, this is unbelievable. And I got to go to this hospital over here and try to get some answers from these morons who, you know, they're just ro robots to the system. They're not really trying to cure you. They just want to treat you because you're big money. You're a consistent cash flow for these insurance companies and big pharma. Well, why would they want to cure you? So we have to come together and figure out what's working and what's not. Stem cells is next for me. Um, I did some prolotherapy, which is basically a... They, they shoot you, uh, in, at least in my knee, not my back, but they shoot uh, what they call like a, uh, a sugar, you know, sugar shot. It's just sugar is injected into the area. So it creates, you know, bleeding and bruisings because the blood will go to that area and start trying to help to heal you. They didn't really help me. Uh, but anything else, you know, they're trying to come out with gels that they just put into your disc that are supposed to help you know, but they're, they're in trials, different things. And I don't really know anything else to try. And that's why I'm on here trying to ask somebody, well, what is anything helping anybody? 
because fusion isn't, back surgery doesn't. It's a joke. People are hooked on drugs. People are going through crap. They're in, they're alone in the, you know, at nighttime in pain. They have nobody to get an answer from, especially these god awful doctors, in hospitals. You know, they can go to hell because they will, but we need to come and figure out what's going to help us because they're not going to tell us. Well, you know, that, that's why I'm out here trying to figure out. Okay, prolotherapy. PRP, stem cells. I'm even looking at testosterone replacement therapy, hormone therapy, because I've been reading articles that say it can help uh, replenish, uh, uh, you know, for arthritis, uh, the, you know, the, the cushioning and all that in, in your body if you have TRT, you know, I don't know. So let me know how you're doing. Let me know how you're feeling. We're all fighting this pain that that is just such a huge issue for so many people so i'm so glad to hear from anybody that wants to talk to me and reach out to me and ask questions i, I always respond um, i just appreciate this community of people that are um you know going through this together so thank you for listening have a great day we'll see you soon bye now